welcome to Tremendous Thursday. It's a great day because, see, today is a special day where all the CRC churches across Australia and even some in other countries are stopping for a day of prayer and fasting. And they're specifically praying for Victoria and the lockdown COVID-19 situation here in Victoria. So let's join with people right across Australia and the world to pray for our situation, for God to intervene in it. So we ask you to pray and fast and also to come into the Zoom tonight. So the Zoom tonight, of course, is a link attached to this particular video. And the messages are being sent out each night. There's a link in there, 7 o'clock to 8.30. Make sure you zoom in to pray. And as we continue to pursue relationships, we want you to look forward to hearing another great devotion today from one of the couples in our churches. So enjoy your fasting today. Enjoy the prayer tonight. And let's believe for great things in the relationship we have with one another in our families and our relationship with God. See you tonight at Zoom. See you tonight. Greetings all. We're Walter and Larissa Cohia. Today we're sharing from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Our topic is helping each other grow. One of the marks of an awesome relationship is that we help each other grow. There are two methods that help people grow and two that don't. Here's how we help each other grow. Grow through example. Jesus did this in his teachings with his disciples. John 13 verses 14 to 15 says, Since I have washed your feet, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you the example to follow. Do as I have done to you. People don't want to hear a sermon or long stories. People want to see an example of Jesus in our lives. We're reading from uh, verses 8 to 11. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us so that wherever, whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. This passage of scripture speaks of that being prepared is essential and building each other up in our marriage and spiritually and not being asleep to things around us. This speaks of marriage being one that God himself has ordained. Grow through our conversations. In order to grow in our relationships, we should have critical conversations about real issues, dedicating time to having conversations around the things that really matter in life. The Bible says, love one another, care for one another, pray for one another, encourage one another, help one another, counsel one another, support one another. These things are statements that go on and on. That's the way God meant it to be. Talk it over. Think about the conversations you've had recently. How much time did you spend talking things over some things you didn't know about larissa and i uh, i first met larissa in south africa in 2010 and it would have been january end of february january or january end of yeah um whilst holiday there the, the re and how we met was my uncle picked up from the airport where uncle i normally stay when i visit south africa and he said to me hey boy you don't have your room anymore we've given your room away so only to find out that God had placed my future wife there for me. We are two opposite people. Larissa being the quiet Thai shy type in public. However, Larissa knows how to stand her ground. And she's not afraid to let you know when, it's, when it is required. And while me, well, I'm just Walter, basically. As, as my father used to say, you're Walter all to yourself. Our families, we didn't know, I didn't know at the time of meeting Larissa that our grandmothers were best friends in the younger days. So we both came from Christian families, had a good background. So we had a head start in life. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our story. Have a great day. See you. Bye-bye.